Five on the shot clock. Two to shoot. Hero unloads. Got it! I've been saying it the entire year. The Miami Heat are legit finals contenders. And now that they've advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals, the South Beach squad are just four wins away from the NBA Finals. But in order to reach the promised land, Tyler Hero is going to have to play a key role in the Miami Heat offense. That being said, I have faith in the 22 year old out of Kentucky and in today's video we are going to break down film on Mr. Tyler Hero and uncover why he is much more than a sixth man. Starting off the breakdown, Tyler Hero is an excellent pick and roll player that creates many options for the Heat. Let's take a look at option one where the big does not step up, freeze it here, you've got a high pick and roll with Bam setting the screen, but I want you to focus on Bam's defender, Serge Ibaka who is a traditional big that wants nothing to do with the perimeter, so he sticks near the elbow allowing Hero to launch a high percentage three. Next up, yet another big in Plumlee refuses to hedge the screen and of course Hero makes him pay. Now that Ibaka has learned his lesson, it's time for option 2 which is hitting the roller. Freeze it here, Matthews is unable to get over the screen and Ibaka is once again forced to make a decision. However, this time he decides to step up leaving the lane wide open with the zero rim protection. Now I cannot stress this enough, whether the Heat face off against Milwaukee or Boston, Hero's pick and roll ability is going to be so crucial because as we are seeing, not only does it get him easy looks, but it unlocks Bam at a by who could easily be the difference in a series. Being that Hero is so skilled, he has several more options such as getting to the rack even with his offhand or pulling up for an automatic mid-range jumper. Now while we take a look at these plays, I want to once again remind you that Kyle Lowry, the Heat's only other true pick and roll player, is experiencing what looks like a chronic injury. This is yet another reason why Hero may have to take on more of the facilitating role through his elite pick and roll ability. Next up, Hero is also Miami's most dynamic score running off of screens and this is critical because it allows the Heat to run some basic double screen actions to get Hero going. Take this play for example, freeze it here, we've got a double flare screen on the strong side that is meant to free up Hero and hopefully get him an easy look from the opposite wing. Now his defender does a great job to fight through the screens and sticks with him, however instead of simply passing the ball back to the point, he attacks his man off the dribble and gets to his mid range pull up which is exactly what makes him so special to this heat offense. While the Miami Heat have a boatload of three point specialists such as Struess, Robinson and Martin, Hero is the one guy that is very comfortable putting the ball on the deck and attacking. Now as we are seeing the young man can also rip around screens, stop on a dime and knock down a three, however he just brings that dynamic wild card to the heat offense because of his triple threat ability. One of the biggest benefits to having a sniper in the backcourt is the ability to deny strong side doubles. Take this play, freeze it here, you've got a clear mismatch with Wes Matthews guarding Bam in the post. Now Portis, who is one pass away, would love to help by stunting a double, however that is simply not possible due to Hero's shooting ability, which leads to barbecue chicken in the paint. This next play is the opposite where they do double Bam and Hero makes them pay for their silly mistake. Now if you guys are Heat fans, do me a massive favor, smash the like button and hit that subscribe button, I really do appreciate it. Last but certainly not least, Tyler Hero is a straight flamethrower and the Heat's most gifted scorer. Now we know what Jimmy Buckets is going to bring to the table and I do expect a big series from Big Booty Kyle Lowry and Bam Adebayo, however I really do feel that Hero is going to be the difference maker in this series for all the reasons we just talked about. But what do you guys think? I wanted to know in the comment section down below as I love going back and forth with all all my basketball heads anyway i really hope you enjoyed this breakdown my name is wiseman this has been better through ball and i'll see you guys in the next one peace